are you? Hey, what's going on? What? Corporal Defense. That's a strange name. That's a good act. You two. Good work, Indy. Okay, okay, now what? You're the train expert. Oh, great, me and my big mouth. Okay, throttle. This is the brakes. <laughs> Let's get up there. They need help. Follow a Google is in order.
Give us the coin! Did I also mention the whole damn German army's coming down the road? What choice is there? We give them their train back. Maestro, a little steam if you please. If I hadn't gotten those detonator caps wet. Der Wagen ist leer. Sag ich doch, hier sind Borussia Siedler. Ist das deine liebe Frau? Ja, ja. Sie, sie guckt gut, wie ihr Mutter. Stämmige Weiber. Die arbeiten gut auf dem Feld. Ja. Schade, dass sie so potthässlich sind. Well, looks on everything. War mir schon immer lieber. Danke. Well, I don't know what you're saying, Sport, but uh, enjoy the cigarette. Uh, you won't need the gun. Only the keys. Sorry to have kept you. Well done. What took you so long, Bertie? Chuck's outside. Reckon we nab one and slash the tires of the Say other. Ach. Ach.
minute. This is the Colonel's tent. Leave the pistol where it is, Colonel. Version. You go that way, we'll see you at the trucks. Hey, yeah, yeah. up the other.
we're up in the air. Shoot you down. Andy, grab the Here, Benny. Tie him up. Hand me the screw in these patches. Don't move you! the sound of the engine. here and the weapons are there. That is the problem. Maybe we should climb in a tree? Next suggestion? One of us should go get the guns. Better. Any volunteers? 
don't look at me. You shot us down. You do it. You are a born hero. The lions aren't dangerous unless they're hungry. You sure? Absolutely. They look well fed to me. Then why are they eating the guns? I hate when that happens. Act nonchalant. Animals can sense your fear. Just look relaxed. Then why are you walking backwards? It's just a matter of strategy. Yeah. We have survival. Who's? Them or us? Poopoos. Shushu. Poopoos. Got any more great ideas? Well, there's one last thing we can try. What's that? that? duty is to escape. And mine is to stop you. You might make a soldier yet. <laughs> nice shot. I was aiming at your head. Well, then I take it back. Drop the pistol. <laughs> you drop yours. I'm not in the mood to bargain. You have nothing to bargain with. If you shoot the colonel, I will shoot you. But if I shoot you first, the colonel will be free. She's right. Correction, you could shoot me, but then Remy would shoot you. The colonel would still be a prisoner. We're out maneuvered. No, we're not. The colonel's army is just over that hill. They'll be here any second. Nice try, but I'm not buying. Ah. The wind shifts again. What do we do now? 
This calls for clear military thinking. Examine your options and weigh the consequences. Option one, we shoot you both and try to escape on foot. Consequence, your army tracks us down and kills us. I'm not sure I like that one. Option two, you and Bullseye hop in that plane and fly away while Remy and I shout Bon Voyage. Consequence, we keep on walking and you turn your army around. How can you be said? I guess you have better things to do than to track down two Belgian officers trying to return to their unit. A soldier's first duty is to obey orders. His second, to survive. Since we were never given any orders, I guess we'll just have to survive. I'm letting you go, but just this once. Son God. Good luck getting back to your lines. Thanks. We'll need it. You'll need more than that. Perhaps, my young friend, we can make use of this. Are you sure you can use it? We've been working for two days now. You're sure this is a good direction? I'm not talking to you. You just don't care about my wife and my don't children. Don't holler at me. Oh, no. Sergeant. Indio, Indio, is that? Try to run faster. I got it! 
being irrational. Emotions are clouding your judgment. You're endangering the men and putting our mission at risk. This is mutiny, Captain. I disagree. Now drop your weapon. It's not a request. I'll have you before a firing squad. All of you. Yes, sir. Should we move out? Get down! same side make do without them what are you talking about you're not seriously thinking of going back up that river we have our orders zimu agalima matachi irtu mon dieu you're insane we're down to a dozen men most of us can barely stand we'll never make it our troops need those guns colonel matthew put his faith in me so did major boucher i'm not gonna let them down then go throw your life away on a fool's errand i'm staying right here Remy, you and I are friends, but don't forget that I'm your superior. If you refuse to go, I might be obliged to consider that an act of desertion. I've gone through hell and mutiny at your side, and now you're going to pull rank on me? No. No, I won't pull rank on you. But I'm going, with or without you. Where's me? In that case, see that the French begin loading our boat in preparation for departure. That's an order, Lieutenant. Yes, Captain, sir, right away. Dick, I glaube, sie sind alle tot. Oh my God, German! Back away, Fritz. I'm taking this boat and leaving. In the first place, my name isn't Fritz. It's Albert. And in the second place, you're not going anywhere. I won't allow it. If you interfere, I'll be forced to shoot you. Don't bother with me. Just shoot yourself. You might as well. <laughs> in your condition, you never survive your trip. It's your health that concerns me. I have my orders. 
Young man, you wouldn't be doing yourself or your orders much good by winding up dead. I look at you, you can barely hold that weapon. Now come, come back to the ward. You need to recuperate. I'll recuperate right here, thanks. On the boat? We ain't got to Svenny the old, sir, and Holzkopf. And I'm warning you. If any German troops show up, I'll set off these charges and blow this boat to kingdom come. Well, I hope they don't show up too late. The explosion would wake up my wife. And kindly blow yourself up away from my dock. I need it in one piece. Guten Abend. I'm Mrs. Schweitzer. You can call me Helene. Albert told me you were down here. I brought you some tea. Good morning, brave young captain. How are we feeling today? You should really stop waving that thing around. Somebody could get hurt. Why didn't you say something when you boarded the boat? You seemed in no mood to listen. Besides, I had more immediate concerns. Like not being blown into small bloody fragments of my former self. I do apologize for punching your face so profoundly. I'm dazed with regret. It's all right, forget it. I'm greatly relieved. You ought to take this upon awakening. Doctor's orders. Trouble. What's this all about? Who's in charge here? Captain Emil Rostow, French Army. Is Albert Schweitzer on board? I am Albert Schweitzer. Dr. Schweitzer, you will please step off the boat and remain yourself into my custody. What? What have I done? Do as I say. The fear! Lousy, thick infected, I'm back in, weasel faced. Disease bearing. Indy, thank God. Help me reason with these idiots. Elena, what's going on here? It seems we are no longer welcome in French territory. Explain yourself, Captain. All German nationals currently in French territory are to be deported back to Europe by order of Senator Clemenceau. We have been here four years, even since before the war began. We never caused the French any trouble. That is not my concern. And to escort you to the French garrison at Port Gentil. As a prisoner of war? Call it what you like. Get them to the boat. Fletcher and French dog, you'll have to go through me first. Lieutenant. I bound each man into a bundle of grease. Lieutenant, stand down. Captain, this man is doing nothing here but treating the sick. He's German. Our orders are very specific. You may take the matter up with my superiors, if you wish. Well, your superiors aren't here at the moment, are they? If they were, I'm sure they'd see reason. Step aside. Look, I have a far more important task for you and your men. You see that boat over there? It contains a shipment of weapons bound for Lake Tanganyika. I want you to forget this nonsense and provide me an escort east. Are you insane? That would take months. It's crucial these guns get through. They're desperately needed in the offensive on Tabora. Tabora has already fallen. As of three days ago, it appears your weapons weren't as crucial as you thought. Now stand aside and stop protecting this German, for I'm tempted to wonder where your allegiance lies. Why are you giving me so much trouble? You of all people should understand. I have orders. I'm a soldier, like you. You're a petty bureaucrat with a gun. Sergeant! Restrain these men at gunpoint. If they give us any more trouble, shoot them for treason. Get the doctor and his wife onto the boat immediately. No!
All aboard. What about them, Rustan? Huh? Who? The people back there. The patients, the sick, the suffering. What's gonna happen to them? They will go back to dying. Yes, stop.
I shot it down. They've landed it and we captured them trying to escape. They are our prisoners. Look at the engine. I shot it to pieces and that is why it landed. They are my prisoners. Stop that looting! This prize belongs to Rittmeister von Richthofen. Well, what do you know? Baron Manfred von Richthofen. Connison, sir. The false Lafayette Escadrille. Lafayette Escadrille. Yeah. I should have known you by your tactics. Under the sun. Swift and sudden from behind. Take him to the field hospital. See that he gets immediate medical attention. So long, Indy. Welcome to Germany. I have never bagged an American before. It would be an honor to have you as my lunch. Keep going! 